It's day two of the Chetwin International Chainsaw Carving Championships. Today started with some rain and gloom, but the sun's beginning to peak out. Later on, we're going to check in with the first, second, and third place winners from last year. But first, let's see how the logs looked at the beginning of the day. We're now going to check in with first, second, and third place winners from last year's competition, Chris Foltz, Robbie Bass, and Jeff Samudowski on their mentality coming into this year's championship. Uh, well, it's always a steep competition, so you always got to try to do something different. Um, I normally do a lot of wildlife and realism, uh, so I wanted to kind of take that and then branch off into something completely different than that. So I'm working on some ravens, skulls, and, uh, drag, uh, and snakes. When competition starts coming around, we start talking about ideas, and we actually even help each other out if we can, you know, say, hey, man, why don't you try it like this? I mean, it's a competition, but in all, we all want to see uh, each other carve the best piece we can. Oh, totally, yeah. It just makes you want to push it even harder. It's, it's you know, I'm, I'm a kind of a detail guy, so I thought this year I'll just go help leather on the detail and uh, see how I go. It's not going to be the tallest piece, and that sort of thing, but I'm you know, hoping to use as much of the wood as I can and push it. To be honest, this was for a bet. I'm gonna do two tortoises mating. So I just sort of sent him a picture of two tortoises mating. I said, do that, and he said, I'll give you a hundred bucks if you do that, man. But then I looked at the, at the pictures and, and the detail in the legs and on the, the shell and all that sort of stuff, just, it's killer. So hopefully I'll pull it off. The main thing is that I don't like to do something similar to what I did the year before, you know, uh, just for me personally, you know, I like to really, like, I wouldn't do like a, anything like with sharp edges, like a bug or a, or a, you know, like exoskeleton creature this year because that was last year. Yeah, it's, it's, it's stiff competition. I mean, I'm pretty competition oriented, you know, but I'm really, uh, I really spent a lot of time just basically competing with, with, you know, at, you know, with the, what I did last year or what I did the years before or what I was able to do, you know, and so I'm always trying to find like, I'm always trying to find things that are unique to me that I haven't done and, and incorporate those into designs. We're close to the finish of day two of the Chetwin International Chainsaw Carving Championships. Now the weather has held up, not much rain. It's starting to sprinkle right now, but for the most part, the carvers have definitely worked on their detail in a lot of the carvings. We'll check that out right away.